Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, man. It's sad for me to even um, do this post-fight video right here, man. Because what I just saw in, in that ring um, just moments ago. Well, not moments ago. Uh, should I say about 30, 40 minutes ago was absolutely one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen in my life, man. And the reason why I say that is because how can a fighter who has been one of the greatest of his prime, one of the greatest fighters of pound for pound of all time, continue to do this, fight and fight were to a point that it does not make any sense and it no longer holds merit. All right. Now, we all know that Roy Jones Jr. right now is fighting uh, at the age of 47, I believe. OK, or 46 years old. I'm sorry. And he was going up against uh, Enzo Macronelli, all right? Now, let's be fair here, and I'll be impartial. Both men going into the fight were very, very shot. Both of them way past their prime, particularly Roy Jones Jr., okay? Now, look at this fight. Uh, Macronelli looked faster. He seemed more fluid. He's putting more punches together, while Jones, on the other hand, was fighting so flat-footed Obviously, his reflexes weren't there like it used to be, and his hands are not as quick, as sharp as it used to be, and his power is not there because we all know that Jones is a blown-up cruiserweight. You know he did fight at heavyweight at one point. I'm sorry, not a blown-up cruiserweight. He was a, he's a blown-up um, middleweight and who at one point did fight at heavyweight. He won a heavyweight title against John Ruiz um, 12 years ago, but uh, it's sad, man, because, again... I, you know, it, I can only say that Roy Jones, if you're watching this video, if you're going to listen, I suggest you just hang it up now, man. Hang it up now while you still have your health, while you still have some um, some faculties with, uh, pertaining to your health, okay? Because it just holds no merit for you to continue to fight the way you're fighting at this point, okay? I just think that you've tarnished your career long enough and you've done it like several years ago already to the point that it just looks so embarrassing for you okay i may is it financial reasons why you're doing this okay perhaps i can understand that to a degree but is it really wor worth risking the humiliation and health that you're going to continue to fight the way you're fighting uh i don't know y'all i mean let me know what you think drop a comment below do you think roy jones is just hanging up for good man or do you think he should continue to fight at the state that he's fighting at this point let me know what you think. Sign it off. Peace. Unbelievable, man. They're like, they're like fucking stole from what I've been hearing and what I've seen. And watch out for those knees, cause not Aldo can hide those on knees very well too. So, um, if McGregor wins, my hats off to him. But obviously, if he loses, will he suffer the same fate as Rousey? Nah, I doubt it. Uh, like I said, he'll bounce. If he loses, he will bounce back from this loss and he will learn from his mistakes and he'll definitely uh, be a better, better fighter if he loses tonight. But other than that, um, yeah, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Jose Otto will keep his win streak alive and continue to be the best pound by pound UFC fighter in the world or MMA fighter in the world? Or will Conor McGregor uh, derail that and become the uh, undisputed featherweight champion? Peace. Oh, before I say peace, <laughs> care to comment, subscribe, share, signing off. Now I'm going to say peace. <laughs>